Hey everybody, good day, good night, wherever you are, thank you for joining me. So today I have a very classic model. Classic in terms that this was made so long ago that it has already gotten to the point where if you want to get it, you almost have to bid on them. So without further delay, I have my 132 skill Mac Vision. Now, I actually had this model twice already now, and the last couple times I made the mistake of, you know, trying to get really creative and taking it apart and all of that good stuff, and long story short, it never turned out too well, so this time I intend to keep it as it is, so enough with that, let us get into the model. So, as you can see, it's the, I want to say it's a 70 inch condo sleeper. Now, in the later New Ray models, they more or less did away with the vision on the door, the amber on the turn signal, the black insert in the grill, and I want to say the overhead marker lights. So yeah, as the production run has gone along, they've like really saturated on the details. The earlier models, like in this case with this one, yeah, they were very nice. So eventually this one became the New Ray Pinnacle. And the Pinnacle offered a like full on chrome bumper. And I don't know, to me, it, just looked kind of on the cheap side. I don't know. That's, but anyways, focusing on this one. As you can see, it's got that really standard, like 90s, late 90s style rounded dash. Yeah, before it got too sharp and angular. So, of course. Yep, and it goes all the way to the top. Of course, you can see right down in the, I believe the skylight. Yeah, so this one I was waiting for, for about, I don't know, three weeks from United Kingdom, so okay, let me see. I can turn it over on the back. Of course, you got your dual exhaust. Let me see. I can show you under it. Okay. So you can probably see where it says. Um, I'm kind of reading that backwards. Yeah, Mac Vision right there. Yeah, so your basic new ray long chassis. So with all new rays, it's pretty simplistic on the, the details. You know, this isn't like a auto art or a Kyosho or an NZG or one of those very high priced model company so anyways so yeah the hood yeah no tilt no opposable steering but yeah again it's a new ray and a hard to find new ray at that there you go so yeah this one I'm not gonna take apart But overall, very, very cool. Yeah, so with the later um, New Ray Mac Vision, Mac Pinnacle, the side skirt actually cuts off at right here. So. Very cool. Yeah, 
And that's always the what's been really cool about new rays is that the um, what do you call it the chassis underneath is interchangeable with yeah just about every new ray out there. So the I have that Volvo VNL 780. If I ever needed that for parts, yeah, definitely. But. So the only flaw that this has, and it's a very minor one, is up on the top of the, the windshield on the inside, there's two little supports that hold it to the, the roof. So the one on the right hand side, let me see if I can use my finger, like right up there, sorry about that, is a little bit on the broken side, but yeah. So the window, the windshield is not falling out, but that's the only thing I could notice that was remotely close to an imperfection. So you got the vision right there. And I wanna say these had the MP7, MP8 engines in them. I'm almost sure. Very, very cool. And I think New Ray, if I remember right, only put this out in black and blue when they first launched this model right here. So, of course, the fifth wheel is stationary, dual tanks. Overall, very, very nice. Oh, yeah, and it's got the super singles right on the back right there. So, with that being, hope you really enjoy it. As always, if you have if you have any questions, that was a bit of a tongue twister. If you have any questions, do feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You take care.